Hi folks, welcome to week two and part two of the DIY clamp project. So we left off, we're, we're now activated on our short arm and we need to create the CAD for it. And this is where the fundamental difference starts to shine in, in how you think about and use um, assemblies and product design in Fusion 360. Because I'll be honest, I am far from the world's best designer and I've really struggled sometimes thinking about how parts fit together. This makes it much better, I think. First thing I'm going to do, hit C and I want to sketch right on this plane here. And I always, I'm paranoid, make sure I'm still active on that component. And I'm just going to sketch a few circles, 0.5, C again, 1, and then I'm actually going to create a, a giant circle here, right to there, 5.25. That last one, hit escape, click on it, and change it to a construction. That helps me think about because you got remember there's a clamp this has got to work fit together and again I'm not a great designer makes it a lot easier hit C hit C again let's sketch a one inch along this perfect L for line again like we talked about in the first episode I like to create lines that are not correct and then use the constraints here, there's a tangent to snap it in place. So that's going to wreak havoc on us. So let's do this. For now, at least, I think, let's go ahead and create a line from here to here. Escape. Now we can select it. Construction. D for dimension. And let's just set it to be 2.25 just for now. I think we can come back and delete it. Now I can dictate, click tangent here, 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 here. Perf oh, that was already there, I guess. Okay, awesome. This thing takes a dog, dog leg to the right. So we'll put her over here somewhere, 0.75. I'm not, I don't think this one has to be uh, along the circumference, I don't think. And we will, you know what we can do, I guess? is we can just fix it for now and then come back and delete that, I think. You know what, I actually don't like that because I don't know how I remove... Oh, I guess you just fix... Oh, that's easy. That's how you remove it. Huh, there you go. Click it and click it. Okay, good. We'll fix it. L for line. And we need a center circle here. And you know what? I actually forgot that these are not, it's not a straight line here. These actually dog leg a little to the right. So L. And L. Let's make this a straight line so we can do horizontal vertical. Click here first, and then we can snap that to there. Same thing here to here. Perfect. And we will go ahead and we'll do the we'll do a fillet on the two-dimensional side. 0.25. There we go. And so what's left in blue, we can see these guys are in blue. Um, I think I'm okay with that, for now at least. We need a circle in here, I forgot. And, but now I think I'm ready to extrude this guy out. So hit Q, and again we'll select here. Again, this is one where, where I don't like, because you've got to go pick a little bunch of little overlapping joints. Um, 
I think they're going to try to make that a hair better. But again, still love this stuff. Uh, and we'll say 0.1. And we've got our little finger. Sweet. Save. Now, go back and activate the top level component. Now you see our design tree has changed. We created the long arm with a sketch and an extrude, the short arm with a sketch and extrude, but everything is inside. The sketch, the bodies, and the extrudes are actually inside these parts. So if you'll notice, as I click on and activate these, the design tree, or whatever you call it down at the bottom, has changed, it's shortened up to basically whatever I just did in that one part. And that's important to think about. We'll go back to here, it gets a little longer. Let's join these two together. Because we sketched them in place, we can go ahead and click Assemble As Built Joint. Now, I wish it wasn't components nested into one line here. I wish you could see what you'd selected a little bit better. But again, once you get used to that, it's no big deal. Component 1, Component 2, don't want rigid, I want Revolute. And then it pops up a new thing, Position. You just hover over, now, great tip. See how anytime I move my mouse around, I lose the ability to like pick what I want? Set your, leave your mouse alone where you like it. Hold down Control. Now everything stops iterating, and it doesn't stop looking for new geometry, and it lets you move around and pick what you wanted. Perfect. Click OK. Now we can't move it right now because nothing is grounded. So for now, we're going to right click, sorry, uh, right click on the long arm and say grounded. That's um, anchoring it in place. And now we can't move that one, but we can move this one. This would actually let us take a look. Did we do this correctly? So in theory, these points, they may need to overlap. Um, and in fact, we can fix that, but um, no, actually, I don't think they do from a design standpoint. We'll take a look when we finish building the model. That'll be a good thing to, to observe. So there's your first joint. Let's go ahead and, and build this center pin here, because that's going to be an important part. Right click, new component, center pivot pin. Activate it. C for sketch. I should be able to click right here. Yep snap it out. Now, one of the things I would like to do, we'll, we'll just bring this up an inch the other way. Oops. Um, I wish I could have gone in there. If you remember from our video on the DIY night vision adapter, I really like creating um, turned profiles with side profile sketches because we have a shoulder here and uh, what I have to do now is click C for sketch, or to start a new circle, if I select the, the top of this, now I can snap it to there, hit Q, and I can pull it out. So if I'm having trouble selecting it, hold down, and I can just hover through the list of what I want, which actually honestly didn't really help me right now. Hm. There we go. Pull this up. Nope. Sorry. There we go. Q. And we'll drag this up to point 8, I think. Which should, if we check, hit I. Oops. One of the big, sorry. One of the big things I'm pushing for is, is active measurement. I don't want to hit I to have to select these two faces to see that it's point 1. I want to just be able to have that show all the time. But now we've got our pin sketched correctly. Uh, we're done. Activate the component. Now, we need to join it because right now we can move it around. And you'll notice that if you move it and you try to do something, it's going to ask you to capture a position. Um, they tried to explain to me at AU why there's this, all this snapshot stuff. And I honestly, it's one of the things I still don't really get other than don't do this and click snapshot because it adds something to your timeline which 
you, you don't want. I, I guess it could be used for saving certain positions of stuff, but I'm not, I'm not there yet. I'll let you know when I get there. Again, assemble as built joint. And we will say, let's think about this. You know what I want to do? I'm going to use the pin as the grounding thing in this whole model. So I'm actually going to right click and ground it, unground the arm. Now I still can't do this. Oops. I still can't use that to revolve because it doesn't know that there's that mate there. Make sure I'm in the uh, top thing there. So assemble as built joint. I will click on the long arm in this pin and that'll be revolute position it can be there. Perfect. So now um, I can do both this and this. Now if you notice, let's take a look. This moves independently. This moving this drags the short arm around. So let's try something. Let's, I actually have never done this before. Let's go to joints. Um, this is where I will admit I get confused. If we, um, if we suppress it, I wish you could, there's a better way to, oops. Ah, okay, so here we go. If you right click and say animate joint, that'll show you what the joint is, I think that help us? So, hmm, frankly, that's not what I wanted. Let's just do, oh, let's just start over here. Can we just delete? Okay, we still got all our stuff. So let's do the joints over again. As built joint, continue. So it moves us, doesn't create a snapshot. So the first component will be the one that moves. So that's, let's click this. The second component will be the one that's sort of fixed in place. So that's this one. Revolute, position, I like that, looks good. Assemble, okay, so another trick. Right click, drag up, and that lets you repeat the as build joint or whatever the last op was. What stays in place? This guy. What moves? This guy. What's my position? Right here. Nope, that's not right. Uh, I'll click OK, but Oh, I'll be darned. That didn't really animate, but that's exactly what I wanted. Perfect. So now you can see we can move these two correctly and, and independently. So with that, folks, stick around for next week. We'll go ahead and go vertical with this thing and start creating the rest of the clamp.